Mateo was born July 2016, the first year that Born This Way was on the air. And as new parents, it gave us an opportunity to look 20 years into the future of what's possible for Mateo. We were inspired by John and his music career, and by Megan and her tenaciousness as an entrepreneur. Hi. And we're just so thankful for the show uh, that they were able to give us that inspiration that a bright future is ahead for Mateo. Before Born This Way, I was like super shy and uh, a little bit timid of what I was getting myself into with the experience I had on Born This Way. Lily got me out of my box. I've been waiting for this for almost, um, not, almost nine years. I'm going to give my hug vouchers. You are. Oh my god, how do you feel about that? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe I could be moving out for real. Ever since Born This Way, I am not afraid to live on my own because I have self-confidence. I'm gonna live on my own, have my own, my own place, and start my own life. I'm making a huge step. It made me so excited about the future to see Rachel and her mom having such an amazing relationship and Christina and her dad. And it's such an important show and we're so thankful for it. It's made our community um, accepted and uh, we are just so thankful. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Christina got really, really good friends for the first time. Yeah. And we create very good relationships. Yeah. I mean, they are family. She made new friends. She made new bonds that I know they're going to last for a lifetime. School had been a lot of people telling him he couldn't do things. Born This Way, I think, helped him. And us, too. I mean, I think being involved with the show pushed me to let him have more independence. And I'm still working on that. <laughs> <laughs> this experience has been truthfully the most amazing experience that I've gone through. It made us grow so much. It made Rachel grow so much. And I think this experience, I feel, has made people look at things differently when it comes to Down syndrome. Sean and I were in an event and this man was receiving an award from the stage. He tells the story of seeing this TV show, knowing no one with Down syndrome, saw Sean interviewing for a job, and got this idea, oh, I could hire some people with Down syndrome. He was a regional manager of a, a chain of stores. He hired 200 people with Down syndrome. I mean, that is an impact. I have coworkers who really did I not understand it. Down syndrome until they started watching the show. Once they started watching the show, they understood. They asked me a lot of questions about my son, how's he doing in school, his achievements. It's an icebreaker for the world, it really is. I think what I treasure the most about the experience being on Born This Way is we have been able to change perceptions and we've been able to change attitudes. It's been really, important and I think it's part of a legacy that Megan and the rest of the cast will have for the rest of their lives that they made an impact on the world that's going to last forever. There isn't a before and an after certain shows. For us it was Life Goes On. That show happened to start airing a month before Christina was born. And we know how important that was for us to see a person with Down syndrome on TV being part of a typical family, having a typical life. There hasn't been any other show in 30 years. Here comes Born This Way. There is a new generation of people. Yeah! <laughs> We've met them at the conferences, at the conventions, on the street, who are telling us, Born This Way has changed our lives. There is a thirst for, for shows like this out there. Born This Way started around the time when Ellison had open heart surgery. He was only nine weeks old, and I watched episodes in the hospital back to back, um, and it just means so much to our family and to watch the cast of Born This Way be so successful and strong and inspirational to us, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love my <laughs>